Panel, I hope you are doing really well. Today we are going to discuss about another system design important concept as a mobile developer. What are the kind of paginations we can have and what is the best pagination based upon our use case. As a front end developer, you should be knowing in your mobile site what you are using for your pagination. The interviewer won't be asking you these questions directly. He would be asking like design a Facebook feed for me and tell me like how you would be designing. So as a developer, you have to tell like I would be using these kind of caching technique, these kind of paginations. So these are the things that interviewer wants. You should speak up voluntary. He should not ask you during those type of questions. If he is asking design Uber app for me. So in Uber, you do not have paginations because that is not required that much. But let's say if you are asked to make Zomato or you are asked to make Amazon homepage. So what kind of pagination techniques you would be using? You have to tell them. So in that scenarios only, let's see what are offset and cursor based paginations and what are the best approaches you should use, which one and when. So let's say if an interviewer asks me, design a Facebook feed page for me. So in the Facebook homepage, you will be having multiple posts that would be coming up. So these would be in arrays, let's say. Let's say this is your original database and in this database, you are having your data. And let's say let's append A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H to them also for the time being. So this is your original database and now as a user I am coming to the app and let's say I am using offset pagination technique. So what happens we would be making the get call simple and let's say we have an endpoint let's say there is a post is the endpoint and then we are saying like offset is equal to zero and let's say this is the limit so i will explain you each and every word don't worry offset is zero means like you have to skip zero items in the database and you have to fetch how many items like you have to fetch so you have to fetch four items okay so what will happen my offset pagination it will go and it will fetch the first four items in the database from your eyes you can see a b c d e it will fetch and it will display you a b c d perfect four would be these only a b c d okay that's good but let's say there was a user he or she came and he posted another photograph of them so we know like in facebook we have from latest to the oldest and then if we let's say post z okay so this z would be appended to the database at the beginning because this is the latest post we have over here in that scenario what will happen now again if you make an api call now you want to skip the first four items because you do not want the redundant items to be shown so here now your offset will be equals to skip the first four items and then again give me the next four items great now what you would be thinking since our array is being changed this the modified so you would be thinking like so now we will get the next api will have from e to h that is our expectation human tendency we would be thinking but no here is the mistake since z is also been appended to the database now again the database will check the first four items the first four items that has to be skipped so it will not think like a was the beginning of our api call when it started so i have to consider a as the beginning and then i will give it from e next four items no now it will consider z as the starting item so z a b c makes the first four items and then again it will return d e g so now the next items would be returned d e f g so you saw like d is being redundant now it has been repeated so this is a repetition why d is now coming in two i do not want a d but because of the new things that are being keep adding to our database it is starting from the new index and it is again giving this so this is what offset based pagination so when you should use offset base when your data is not changing frequently when data is not changed frequently okay so let's say when not it is not changed let's say you have amazon feed and there you have books so books won't be changing frequently at like let's say you are looking for the classic books so classic literature books those would be don't changing like like they would be changing once a week or twice in a month so they are not changing every day so at that particular moment you can use these kind of offset pagings and where you want like your paginations are also there like let's say the user might go from page 1 to 100 so there you want to skip many items so at that particular point you would be needing 
so let's see where is cursor where is pagination coming into picture where it is coming see now what happens in the cursor based pagination let's say this for the same classical example in the cursor based pagination what happens this is your cursor you would be making an api call let's say this is also post api call post means the feed post not the post one okay and then you would be saying after and let's say this is first time it would be null because we are starting with the database and then you can say the limit could be four only so we will consider the same example at this particular moment our database is having let's start with that only particular a b c d e f g okay so these are the particular database okay so first time it will handle and it will return us a b c d perfect and now again our user came in and the user added a post name as x x would be appended to the database okay now once the x has been appended to the database what will happen so you again make this api call and now here the best part is you have a pointer here so now the database will have a pointer in it like it will say let's say a pointer like d was my last data that i have sent okay so the database also knows and you can also say okay after d so you also says like after d i want so now it will send all the things that are after d so here you can say and limit is equals to 4 so you are now saying i want the data that is coming after d what you can do you can give your things directly also like this like whatever data json you got at the last and let's say in the post you were having a json and you can since this let's say this is the particular id of that particular post and this is d these are unique so you can say after d i want these many posts okay so now a respective x has been added to the database and the first four posts should be x a b c but we have given the pointer to the database like hey i want data after d so it will go in the database and it will see d is here and you said you want after d four items so it will give me what e f g h okay so here you saw there is no redundancy there is no repetition of the data in the particular first scenario we saw when we were using offset we were seeing the data was repeated because if the data is been changed or frequently added or subtracted here the data could repeat itself the data is inconsistent but here the we know like after this point you are saying after this only i want this kind of data so here you know like the data won't be repeated so this is a better approach for your feeds so where it is a advantage to use the advantage is where your data is changing at a very fast rate is changing at a very fast rate here you should use your cursor based paginations because here if the data is changing you want to avoid redundancy you do not want things to repeat again and again so at that particular point you want like the data should be a new one so you have your address over here you are storing the address let's say if the user would have added another post like one two three posts so here if the four posts are been added again if you would have given in the offset like i want to skip first four posts and i want the limit of four you would be again getting a b c d this is wrong in those scenarios cursor based pagination is a good approach to go ahead with that and offset is not but where is offset been then been used where the data is not changed or let's say you have a wikipedia page you know in your google search of wikipedia you have at the bottom one two three and then dot 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 four this kind of that so if let's say user came to the first page you have given like okay zero and then the limit i want 20 pages great but let's say after that the user do not go to two three four he directly jumped out to be 14th page number now in those 14 page number how you would be coming to 14 page number if we would be going cursor based you do not know like where this 14 arrow would be i do not know the 13 last item so that i can say like fetch the items after in those scenarios offset paging is a better one because what you can do you can directly give your offset like hey skip the 14 if each page is having 20 items so you have to skip how many items one 280 items so you can say directly offset 280 it means you have to skip 280 items i'm just giving you a rough calculation it is not appropriate you have uh, some formula over there so you will skip 280 items and then you will give the next 20 items in this scenario you can directly fetch the new items of 14 page number 
but had it been cursor you cannot because you have to go to the 13th because everything is been linked like this so you have to go to the 13th last index in order to fetch what is the its id then only you can say like give me after 13 let's say after 290 would be the id so this here cursor is not a good approach so you have to think over like that and think of your requirement what is the requirement can the user skip the pages can the user skip the data in between in those scenarios you need offset but if the user is not in instagram feeds in facebook feeds and you cannot skip the things you just have to scroll so you have like data that could be appending that would be changing so in though because you are uh, every person if you have around 130 180 followers in your instagram every person would be posting something or another the data would be changing at a very fast rate at that particular moment you need your cursor base because offset would be it's like you are seeing same data again and again so it depends upon your requirement so this is a basic difference between offset and the cursor based pagination i hope you like this video and you got a gist how things are working i hope in the next system design interview you would be talking about these kind of things that's it for this video stay tuned for more